Hi, I'm David the Bruce. Welcome to Jungle Queens. And today we bring you a very, very special series, man. This serial ran in the 40s and then it was rebranded in the 50s and played again and then it was rebranded in the 60s and ran again. That's three decades. Yes, it is. I gotta tell you, this one went over well. What's it called? Well, the original title was The Tiger Woman. Oh, man, and it's played by Linda Sterling. She is the official head of an entire native group down in South America, known, and she's known as the Tiger Woman. Yes. Woo, man. So this runs, if we put all the uh, serial parts together, it runs for over three hours. So what we've done is we've put them all together and divided it into three so that um, you can see this in three different uh, episodes. You can see the various serials in three different episodes, yes. So it makes it a little bit more doable, but boy, you are in for a, just a, a good treat. I gotta tell you, when the Tiger Woman showed up on the screen, she became an instant phenomena. I mean, whoa, the popularity of this was just over the wall. Man, she had a, uh, she did have a film base. Linda Sterling and the studio sought to exploit that by getting her quickly in other roles, which we have some on some other of our shows, so be looking for them. Anyways, here is Linda Sterling. Three parts. The Tiger Woman. The vast reaches of the world's remote jungles are inhabited by strange animals and stranger people, knowing no law but that of kill or be killed. In one of these uncharted regions, the Tiger Woman, mysterious white ruler of an ancient tribe, is fighting to defend her people against the encroachments of evil white men, who are ruthlessly slashing a path of destruction through her country attempting to exploit the fabulous wealth of the oil lands encircled by her domain. Drums! Say fire on our hunting forest! It is the work of the white devils again. I will go by the trees. You gather warriors and follow me. What's the I see?
Those drums mean they've seen the smoke, Morgan. They'll be heading this way. That's what we want. If the tiger woman is with them, she'll walk right into our trap. There's one of them now. Hold it. Don't fire until you see the tiger woman. I'm not going to be caught like a rat in a trap. You fool, you've exposed our position. We can't stay here. Come on. Catch the tiger woman, Morgan. No. The smoke lure worked all right, but Blair lost his nerve and started shooting before the tiger woman arrived. Blair was killed and it caught Rand. Rand a prisoner? That puts me in a tough spot. If he talks... I hired him. He knows nothing about you. Anyhow, he'll never come back. Once the tiger woman gets her hands on a white man, it's the end. You've nothing to worry about. Inter-Ocean Oil Company's franchise expires in two days. Then we can come out in the open and hire enough men to shoot our way through the Tiger Woman's territory to the oil field. But if we had her, we wouldn't have to fight our way through. They'd have to let us do anything we demanded. Hey, Jose Delgado, the district manager of the Inner Ocean Oil Company, wants to see you. All right. Wait here, Morgan. Hello, Jose. What can we do for you? I have good news, Mr. Daggett. The Interocean Oil Company is going to operate again. Here is a list of the many supplies we will need. But I thought your franchise expired. Oh, but no. We have now received an extension. And to make sure that our work will be successful, the company is sending its most capable man, Alan Saunders. Saunders? The oil company's chief engineer? Yes, the ace engineer, and what you call uh, the troubleshooter. Wherever there is trouble, they send Alan Saunders. And at once, the trouble is all gone. Yes, I've heard a lot of him. When will he get here? On the boat tomorrow. I'll order these supplies right away. Thank you, sir. Goodbye. Who's this guy Saunders? Delgado made it appear like the Marines were landing. Might as well be. Saunders is dynamite. Oh, we can take care of him like we did their other men and make it appear that the Indians killed him. It's safer to do it before he gets here. One of my men, Fritz Carnes, is a steward on the steamboat. I'll catch the boat at La Porte tonight and give Fritz his orders. He'll find a way to get rid of Saunders. Good morning, Mr. Saunders. Good morning, Captain Dumas. You're up rather early this morning. Yeah, you have to be in my business. Are we on time? Oh, just about. Belleville is our next landing. Your story.
Moore tried to knife me. I saw his reflection in the lamp and threw him overboard. I'm afraid the crocodiles got him. Stuart, why, well, he must have gone mad. What's the trouble? Someone screamed. This gentleman has been wounded. I'll have to attend to it. He can explain later. It's only a scratch. Man's in luck. He didn't get a real wound. No. You should hire more efficient killers, Mr. Daggett. What do you mean? Who are you? Don't try to draw. You'd never make it. I'm Fletcher Walton, attorney and special investigator for your employers. I see. So they sent you down to check up on me. Not exactly. If we can find a less public place to talk, I'll explain. All right. Come down to my cabin. Why are you here? Help you put the Inter-Ocean Oil Company out of business so our employers can take over that new field themselves? But my chief reason is a project all my own. A deal that will make you and me a great deal more money than the company ever pays us. I'm listening. What do you know about the Tiger Woman? Why, she's a white girl. Leader of an ancient native tribe, which controls the country between Belleville and the oil field. Are you sure she's white? Of course. Some of my men have seen her. Then there's no question about it. The Tiger Woman is the daughter of Harrison Arnold. Harrison Arnold? You mean the multimillionaire sportsman who was lost on a plane trip about 15 years ago? That's right. Arnold disappeared over this district and his daughter Rita was with him. All we've got to do is get to her camp and find some definite evidence from the plane wreck. Papers, jewelry, anything that will prove her identity in court. We can probably do that. But where's the payoff for us? As soon as we have something to prove she's Rita Arnold, we'll dispose of her. Then hire a clever actress to impersonate her and claim Arnold's entire estate. What's that word, Sam? Native drums. They always beat like that when a white man disappears into the jungle. Yesterday, one of my men was captured by the Tiger Woman. Then you mean that... I think we're listening to the drums of death. companions from molesting us again. We cannot be too certain of that, Ramga. The evil ones are not easily discouraged. They have murdered our friends from the Inter-Ocean Oil Company and invaded our forests. They may strike again. Tagula, take the horse of the white man who was killed in the forest. When you are near the town, release the animal and follow it. Learn what you can of the white man's plans. <laughs> It doesn't seem reasonable to me that this Tiger Woman would solemnly agree to let our people pass through her territory and then have them killed. But someone killed them. Yes. Someone tried to kill me on the boat today. He wasn't a native. 
There's apparently a conspiracy to stop our work and cause us to lose the franchise. I must talk to this tiger woman at once. There is trouble in the jungle. The drums beat in the forest this morning. It would be very dangerous to go there now. Dangerous part of our job, Jose. Where are the horses? At the construction camp. We'll have to drive out there. I left my car at the blacksmith shop for repairs. We'll pick it up there. Sounds as though someone is being beaten. Yes, it does. You and I are going to find out why. What's this all about? He's one of the Tiger Woman's warriors. I caught him with a horse of a friend of mine who disappeared in the jungle yesterday. I'm going to make him tell me what happened. Wait a minute. How do you know he's one of the Tiger Woman's men? That's their tribal emblem. Now get out of the way. Don't you think you better let the law question him? I don't need the law to help me. We'll take him out to the construction camp. I'll go and explain to the tiger woman. Then they put the warrior in the car and drove off. You must recapture the man. We can force information from him to help us capture the Tiger Woman. Yeah, it's easy enough for you to stand there and talk about grabbing him. You can take him at the construction camp. Bolton will go with you. With Saunders on his way to the jungle, you won't have much trouble. I hope you're right. This man Saunders is a dangerous opponent. Don't worry about Saunders. The way the Tiger Woman and her warriors are feeling now, any white man entering that forest is walking right to his death. Alan Saunders, the Interocean Oil Company. He lies. The men of the Interocean Company were our friends. Well, I came here as a friend, openly and unarmed. I made no resistance when your men seized me. The Interocean men carried cards from their company. My identification card is in my shirt pocket. It is the ghoulish charm. What happened to my warrior? He was captured by your enemies and badly injured. I rescued him. He's being cared for at my construction camp. You may go there and see for yourself. Do not believe him. It is a trap to lead us into another ambush. I speak the truth. If you fail to find Tagula at the construction camp, then pronounce your sentence upon me. It is true that we may test his story and still bring him to justice if he has lied. I will go to the camp myself. If his story is false or I am in danger, I will send a drum message to execute him. 
Return him to the cell. Remain here. If there is trouble, send the signal quickly. Ellen Saunders reach you safely? Yes. And he spoke the truth. Tegula is badly hurt. We must take him to the temple at once. I'll get the horses. and wait here. I'll find the warrior. Don't move, tiger woman. You and your followers will burn for this. A bigger prize than we expected. Climb up. Tie our feet to the stirrups. devils at the camp. Our queen is in danger. The white man lied. Prepare for the execution ceremony.
Here is the incredible story behind Jungle Queens from Xi to Sheena. At one time, it was an international craze. A Jungle Queen, and there are several, is a dominant, independent exotic woman who lives in a strange land or time. H. Ryder Haggard called her, she who must be obeyed. Writer Doug Mann observed that the Jungle Queen looks more like a proto-icon of third-wave feminism than an objectified pinup. The first Jungle Queen made her debut in 1887 with H. Ryder Haggard's novel She, which was about a 2,000-year-old white beauty named Aisha who rules over a native tribe. He dubbed her She Who Must Be Obeyed. Margaret Atwood, the author of The Handmaid's Tale, said, whatever she might have been thought to signify, its impact upon publication was tremendous. Everyone read it, especially men. Following She, Rima the Jungle Girl was introduced in The Green Mansions, a 1904 novel by W. H. Hudson. Famed actress Audrey Hepburn would later star as Rima in the 1959 Green Mansions movie. Most might think that Tarzan came before the Jungle Queens. Not so. It was a quarter century after She was published that Edgar Rice Burroughs' Tarzan of the Apes was introduced 1 in 1912. Of course, this archetypal feral child raised in the African jungle would become a template for the later Jungle Queens. It might surprise some to know that Edgar Rice Burroughs wrote a couple of Jungle Queens books. In 1913 Burroughs published Cave Girl, and in 1929, Jungle Girl. Surprisingly, in 2015, Tarzan's Jane becomes a Jungle Queen as well in Swords of Sorrow. Unlike other superheroes, like Superman, who appeared in comics before their screen debut, the Jungle Queens appeared in the movies first. Then in the comics. The first Jungle Queen movie screened in 1899. That is 38 years before Jungle Queen comics. A few of those films would include Haggard's 1899 She, The Pillar of Fire, Perils of the Jungle in 1927, The Savage Girl in 1932, and Queen of the Jungle in 1935. In 1937 Sheena was the first Jungle Queen comic. Sheena was the first comic dedicated solely to a female character, a historic milestone. Sheena's name was derived from H.R. Haggard's She, but is patterned after Tarzan and was similar to Burroughs's Princess of Mars. Her appearance reflected the then popular pinups. Sheena's popularity gave rise to many imitations. Comic book publishers wanted to cash in on the craze. Suddenly there were titles, like Tegra Jungle Empress, Jan of the Jungle, Princess Panther, and Tonda White Princess of the Jungle. Just look at all these Jungle Queen comics. It was a major craze. Suddenly Hollywood ramped up Jungle Queen productions. Movies inspired comics and comics inspired films. Media companies and publishers were cashing in. Here is a partial list of the many Jungle Queen movies from the 1940s through the 1960s. Then. It. Crashed. Psychologist Dr. Frederick Wortham's 1953 book Seduction of the Innocent blamed comic books for different kinds of maladjustment in young minds. The early 1950s saw a nationwide anti-comics movement. Angry parents and church groups instigated it during a boom in graphic horror comics. By the mid-1950s, nearly 75% of the U.S. comic book publishers had been forced out of business. To survive, the comic book industry began to self-censor, establishing the Comics Code Authority. The code saved the industry, but it didn't help sales. Recovery took years. Generally, throughout the late 1950s, 1960s, and 1970s, Jungle Queen comics were no longer published thanks to the church groups, anti-comic campaign, and the code. Fiction House. That published Sheena was forced out of business by the anti-comic movement. Their last Sheena comic was published in 1953. She Sheena, the Jungle Queen, has been accused of being sexist, imperialist, violent, and racist. In his well-researched article, Doug Mann wrote, A primordial rumble in the comic book Jungle, Sheena rehabilitated, disagrees and says the charges are mostly unfounded, like imperialism, the evidence for her sexism is weak at best. 
A fair court of comic book critique will find the post 1940s Gina innocent of these two charges and guilty of the third, racism, to a much lesser degree than her accusers have suggested. Case closed. Long live the jungle queen. End quote. Ah, but like with most superheroes, there is always a resurrection. Sheena rose again in a syndicated TV series in 1955-56 with Irish McCalla in the lead role. Sheena was back. In 1956 Leanne, Jungle Goddess hit the screen with a topless 16-year-old Marion Michael as the Jungle Queen. It had two sequels. Betty Blythe, in the 1925 she was topless too. Sheena rose still again 30 years later when Tanya Roberts brought her to the big screen. She rose as still again 15 years later when Jenna Lee Nolan brought her back to television in 2000-2002. Like the Jungle Comics, Jungle Queen movies had tapered off from the mid-1950s forward. But, she was the queen that has survived best. She returned in 1965, starring Ursula Andress. Followed by The Vengeance of She in 1968, another she. In 1984, and is still another she in 2001. But in other ways, the Jungle Queen lives on. That dominant, independent exotic woman lives on in many of today's movies and comics. Consider The Hunger Games, Tomb Raider, Black Panther, Dora and the Lost City of Gold, and so many others. These are the offspring of the Jungle Queens with that the dominant, independent exotic woman who lives on and always will. We have always needed her. We always will. It is. She who must be obeyed.
all a mistake. My warrior sent the signal when he saw me captured. Then it was a trap. No, Tagula was safe, just as this man said. It was other men who made the attack and captured me. This man's friend, Jose, helped me to escape. I am sorry I misjudged you. Well, it was only natural under the circumstances. But now that everything is all cleared up, may I have permission to cross your lands to the oil country? We granted such permission to the Inter Ocean oil men once before. Later, they were found dead in the jungle. Since then, there has been great trouble. Many of our warriors have been ambushed and killed. They tried to set fire to our jungle and kill our game. Even if this man is our friend, we must deny his request. The white man has brought nothing but trouble to our people. But your queen is white. The gods sent her to us from the sky. I'm sorry. She is different from all the others. But I assure you, all white men aren't the same either. The men that are causing you this trouble are my enemies as well as yours. And I promise to do everything within my power to bring them to justice. I grant your request upon one condition. I will show you a trail to use, but you must not trespass anywhere else. You have my promise. Then we will meet you at the Pillar of the Sun when the sun is three spans high in the west. But first, I want to pick up my friend, Jose, and get some supplies at Belleville. Saunders and Jose just drove up to their office. And the Tiger Woman reached the temple in time to save Saunders. Now we're back where we started. Worse. He's acquainted with the Tiger Woman now, and sooner or later he'll stumble onto the fact that she's Rita Arnold, heiress to millions. If he learns that, we lose those millions. We must find out Saunders' plans and do something to stop him at once. Yeah, but you can't just walk up and ask him. That's just what we'll do. There's a way of making Saunders tell all we want to know. It's an old legal trick I've used before. Fulton was killed by Jose, wasn't he? Sure, but that... That makes Jose Delgado a murderer. Go to the Commandant and swear out a warrant for his arrest. Uh, just a minute, please. Jose Delgado? Yes? I have a warrant for your arrest for the murder of a man named Bolton. But it wasn't murder. It was self-defense. There's no use arguing with these men. You better go with them and tell your story to the Commandant. What's the trouble, Saunders? Someone's trying to frame Jose on a murder charge. Murder? This is serious. You'll need legal advice. Would you like me to go along and help with the case? We certainly would. Thank you. This way, please. And Mr. Morgan charges that you fired at them without any cause whatever and killed Bolton. But that is not true. This man and Bolton tried to carry away the Tiger Woman. I had to shoot Bolton so I could follow and rescue her. I don't know anything about the Tiger Woman. He killed Bolton in cold blood. We've had trouble with this man Morgan before. We found him beating one of the Tiger Woman's warriors. We interfered. So what? I caught it with one of my horses, didn't I? Well, that's enough. You are speaking of the Tiger Woman, horse cheating, beating warriors. But Jose Delgado here is charged with murder. What about that? We only have Morgan's word against Delgado's that it is murder. If you'll permit bail to Delgado, perhaps he could ask the Tiger Woman to come here and testify. That's possible. Do you know where to find her? We're to meet her at 3 o'clock today. Oh, this is just a scheme to escape. If Delgado gets beyond your jurisdiction, he'll never return. Perhaps the meeting place is in your jurisdiction. Is it, Mr. Saunders? Well, I don't know. Uh, it's the Pillar of the Sun. Oh, this is outside my jurisdiction. In the jungle country. I'm sorry, but I must refuse to permit bail. But Mr. Saunders can go. All you want is a Tiger Woman's testimony, isn't it, Commandant? That's correct. Well, Mr. Morgan. He would be notified when the trial is held. Don't worry, Jose. I'll have the Tiger Woman here this afternoon. What is the best way to the Pillar of the Sun? Go north, along the DuPont Road. This is a good spot. 
You can hide at the top of that rock and drop the explosives on Saunders' car as he comes through. This looks like a pretty small charge. It'll be enough to wreck his car. Get your men set. And when you finish Saunders, go to the hideout check and wait for us there. We'll catch the tiger woman at the Pillar of the Sun. Time I'll shoot higher. Wait, wait, I'll talk. Morgan went to capture the tiger woman. He's gonna take her to the cliff shack. men should have been here before this. Maybe Saunders hadn't shown up yet. I'd better go and find out. Saunders headed for the shack. Call it. Untie.
Keep them busy. I'm going to blow up the shack.
kept them busy, I'm going to blow up the shack. I don't understand why they made you a prisoner. But I do know that Morgan and his gang are trying to keep me from getting the oil well in before the deadline. A drum message. The bodies of my warriors have been found. We must hurry to the temple and tell the high priest all that has happened. Tiger woman? Yes, but Saunders rescued her. Saunders? A machine gun golf's man then got the girl away from us. Your stupid blundering made Saunders look like a hero. Now she's sure to help him with the oil well set up. Worse than that. He'll learn she's Rita Arnold. I would kill her chances of ever getting the Arnold estate. Saunders recognize you? Yeah, he must have. And you can't appear against Jose and the murder charge will fall through. However, I'm still Jose's attorney. By obtaining his release, I can learn their next move. Saunders will feel indebted to me. When I go with him to his office, I'll... And there was no difficulty. When Morgan failed to appear, the case against Jose collapsed automatically. Well, that's fine, Mr. Walton. We certainly appreciate your aid. Forget it. Feel free to call upon me any time you need help. I suppose your troubles are over now that you've come to terms with the Tiger Woman. Well, I sure hope so. We're starting work at once. Then I won't keep you any longer. Thanks again, Mr. Walton. Good day. Bye. He said you had made arrangements with the Tiger Woman. How did he know? He didn't. He was just guessing. But he was right. She gave me this map. A secret underground route to the temple, so we can come and go without danger of interference. It's amazing. I never knew there were caves underneath the jungle. But even the natives don't know they exist. Only the tiger woman and the high priest. I came through the caves on my way back from the temple, but I could never find my way in again without this map. That is easy to believe. Why, these passages extend for miles. What is this cave they call the Cathedral of the Great White Sky God? It's probably somebody's tomb. The girl's father. This map is most important. Will it be safe to leave it here with the other maps? Yes, it'll be all right tonight. I'm working late, and I'll sleep in the other room. You better go out to the construction camp and help Tagula guard the equipment. An underground route to the temple. With that map, it'll be a sense to get the Tiger Woman. And evidence to prove her identity. Arnold must be buried in that tomb. These natives always bury a man's personal belongings with him. There's sure to be something there. Papers, jewelry, anything to serve as legal proof. You're right. I'll call Morgan. He must get that map tonight.
This is it. Drop that map, Morgan. stole the map. He's probably on his way to the temple right now. Tagula, who stays in the temple at night? Only the high priest and the tiger woman. I can send a drum message to warn her. No, that would only alarm Morgan. He might kill her. We'll take the horses. If we ride fast, we can get to the front entrance and surprise him. Do you enter this time? Quiet. Go out in front and stand guard. Where's the tiger woman? Tie him up. need the key to the sky god's tomb. You'll never get it. Give us the key, or he dies. Don't do it, great one. They will take our sacred relics, and then our lives. You asked for it. We can break the door down anyway. No, I'll get it for you. You men stay here.
Lewis and two others are coming in. Hold them here. I'll warn Morgan. Saunders is in the temple. Cover her. I'll go to the mouth of the tunnel and get the others. Woman. They have taken her to the Cathedral of the Sky God. Through that door. Untie him. I'm going after her. Batter it down. Oh, if they keep that up, the sound vibrations will loosen the stalactites, and the whole ceiling will fall in. Isn't there any other way out of here? None. Until you break her down. I'll go back to the tunnel intersection and thank God.
Woman. They have taken her to the Cathedral of the Sky God, through that door. Untie him. I'm going after her. Vibrations will loosen the stalactites and the whole ceiling will fall in. Keep pounding until you break it down, then kill them both. I'll go back to the intersection and stand guard.
Did Morgan come back here? No. Then they must have gone to the tunnel. Can you summon your warriors and have them search for him? Why, the warriors are at the village. It would take too long to summon them. Morgan has the map and can escape the way he came in. How did they secure the map? They stole it from my office. We came to warn you as fast as we could. What were they looking for in the cathedral cave? The cathedral cave is the tomb of my father. But surely no one would go to someone... They must know it is the ancient custom of my people that the personal effects of the dead one are buried with him. But what do those men want with my father's belongings? We'll know the answer to that when we find out who the men are behind the attacks on my company. We know your enemies are the same men who are trying to keep us from drilling our oil well before our franchise expires. They have made much trouble for all of us. Time grows very short and we haven't even located the place to drill our well. Well, don't worry about that, Jose. Just before I left Belleville, I phoned the supply company at Laporte and made arrangements for you to get a petrometer there. It's the latest device for locating oil. It'll help us finish the job in a hurry. Good. If I can go by motorboat, I can have it back to our depot landing tomorrow afternoon. All right. I'll meet you there with a the car, and we'll take the petrometer right out to the field. In the morning, I will take my warriors to search the jungle for the tracks of our attackers. We will try to locate their camp. Good. The riders have met here. You will follow back on this trail. Tagula will take that one. I will follow on this one. Remember, we wish only to locate places they came from. Then we shall return to the temple and make our plans. We understand. planted a landmine on Portage Pass, and my men are waiting there to blast Saunders as he comes through on his way to the depot. Good. We sent two men from here to the depot landing to take care of Jose and get the petrometer. Has Saunders left yet? Yes. He drove out of town half an hour ago. We're ready for him. We won't miss this time. You'd better not. Call me as soon as you get him. I'll stand by the radio, so keep your set open. Right. out of the cave and grab my gun. Here, stop her. Warren Saunders.
What's this all about? They need a mine in the road to kill you. And Jose and the machine are in great danger. How do you know that? I followed Morgan into a cave. I heard him say that men had been sent to the depot landing. I'll radio the landing and warn the watchman. All right. Calling AL. Calling AL. Frank speaking. Come in. Frank, this is Saunders. When Jose arrives, warn him there may be an attempt to steal the petrometer. Tell him the Tiger Woman and I are coming there to help him. Yes, sir. This is a break for us. Saunders and the Tiger Woman will walk right into our trap, too. Let's throw him in the pit. Delgado, get set. We'll get him out of sight and tie him up. Make Saunders think everything is okay, so you walk right in. Wait. That's Frank's favorite tune. I guess everything's all right so far. Drop your gun belt, Saunders. be here any minute. I'm going to take this man to town and have the commandant send out a couple of troopers in case he shows up. You two take the motorboat. Find a safe place to land and get the petrometer to the temple as fast as you can. Right.
Linda Sterling was one of the most beloved and most fabulous jungle queens ever. Her Tiger Woman is iconic. So it may come as a surprise to learn that she graduated from UCLA, Phi Beta Kappa, and taught English, Shakespeare, and literature at Glendale College for 27 years, receiving the Distinguished Faculty Award for Outstanding Teaching. Her continuing education included New College in Oxford, England, the Universities of Madrid, Moscow, and St. Petersburg. In addition, she pursued Irish literature in Dublin, and Renaissance studies in Ashland, Oregon. Linda Sterling was the last, perhaps the greatest of the cliffhanger serials Queen's next to Pearl White of the Silent Era. Yet, she dominated the genre during the sound era and is fondly remembered by serial buffs. Linda Sterling was born in 1921 as Louise Schultz in beautiful Long Beach, California. She was bit by the acting bug at a very early age. At just 12 when she took acting classes in school and then with the community theater. She eventually enrolled and studied for two years at the prestigious Ben Bard's Academy of Dramatic Arts. She paid for her education by working as a model. Her cover picture on a magazine brought her to the attention of Republic Pictures. The Tiger Woman serial was intended for the Nuka serial Queen Kay Aldridge, but she was exiting Hollywood after her marriage. After an interview with Sterling, Republic Pictures signed her to a seven-year contract. The Tiger Woman was her first serial and credited movie. She was an excellent actress, but she couldn't ride a horse, and there was a lot of horseback riding in the series. But, through determination, she quickly learned, and The Tiger Woman was a great success. She appeared in more than 40 westerns, features, serials, and television shows from 1943 to 1959. She is remembered most for The Tiger Woman, Zorro's Black Whip, Manhunt of Mystery Island, The Purple Monster Strikes, The Crimson Ghost, and Jesse James Rides Again. Linda Sterling has the Hollywood record for being the number one bondage queen when it comes to ropes, gags, and whips. She was tied up and gagged more than any other actor. But this seeming damsel in distress could also crack a whip, bringing men to their knees and dominating them. She said, I made my living getting beat up, tied up, gagged, and thrown off a horse. Reflecting on her Hollywood years, she said, but despite everything, those days were wonderful fun. Everyone was congenial, we managed to find time to laugh a lot, play practical jokes, and kid around. I learned how to work fast and well. Yet when the old serials are shown today, audiences marvel at the production and quality that they had. That's because everyone did their best to make the serials good. Linda Sterling passed away in 1997 at age 75. She had a 44-year marriage to writer-producer A. Sloan Nibley and was survived by their two sons. One writer characterized her as possessing presence, wholesomeness, beauty, and versatility. And those are what made her the heroine that she was, and still is.